Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It's time for another episode of Tuesday Live at Five. This is Lena Gursa. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. Very, very snowy Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And today I'm bringing a little bit of spring sunshine with the Rainbow of Happiness Bundle by Stampin' Up! Now, I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but yesterday we got dumped on. Like, we usually maybe get, I don't know, three, four inches of snow at a time. This was like 13. <laughs> it was crazy. And we didn't even get the worst of it. Toronto, which is about an hour east of us, um, they got like 60 plus centimeters, which is what, uh, like two feet. It's crazy. So we are digging out and uh, it is cold here and just, yeah, yucky winter weather. So what better time to focus on sunshine and rainbows than a snowy, snowy week in January. So I am all about this bundle today. We are going to make three cards. Um, two basic cards and then a cute little fun fold and then I'll show you um, a coordinating little gift box that I made too. Um, I'm going to show you some ideas and talk a little bit about some tips for using this set and hopefully you'll enjoy our projects. Now let me just pull up my video here on my iPad so I can see who's joining us. Come on. Let's see if that's going to come up there. There it is. All right. Ooh, I look pale. Man, do I need sunshine. <laughs> All right, so we've got Krista and Tracy. Hi, Tracy. <clears throat> oh, lots of snow. Okay. And Violet. Hi, Julie. Welcome, everyone. I hope you are keeping warm wherever you are this week. Hi, Debbie. Cold in Edmonton. Ooh, freezing rain. That's not fun. Tomorrow, it's supposed to go above zero for a few hours, just enough to let some things melt, and then we're going back into the deep freeze. So it should be quite icy by Thursday morning. Never a dull moment here in winter in Southern Ontario. Hi, Louise. How are you? Hi, Violet. All right. I am ready to flip the camera and get to it and show you these cute projects. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. All right. Looking a little saggy. Let's just see if we can tighten that up a bit. Oh, winter storm in Winnipeg, Sharon. Not so fun. We just, oh, we just had a yesterday. I hope you don't send it this way because we've had enough snow for a little while. Um, hi, Gail. Hi, Jen. All right. So the Rainbow of Happiness bundle is in the new January to June mini catalog. Now I have it on good authority that the catalogs I mailed out are arriving. The ones that I had Stampin' Up! send are finally showing up. And then I sent out a whole new batch myself and they are starting to show up. So if you are a regular customer of mine, you should be finding a copy of the catalog in your mailbox very soon if you haven't already. All right, so this um, bundle is on page 18. It's not part of a product suite, but it kind of is because when you purchase the bundle for $60.25 here in Canada, that qualifies you for the awesome Sunshine and Rainbow 6x6 DSP pack from Celebration. So if you are thinking about getting this bundle, get it in the next couple of weeks and then get your free paper that coordinates, okay? Um, I would suggest not holding off because as you, I hope, are aware, <laughs> we are having um, supply and inventory issues, as is the entire planet. And I don't want you to be in a situation where you can't get this and then get your coordinating paper okay so get that sooner than later which is one of the reasons I'm focus, uh, fo featuring it this week because I don't want you to miss out okay so here up close and personal is the bundle so we have um, stamps these are photopolymer that um, will create rainbows we're actually going to use those in just a minute um, some fun sentiments and then some great textural stamps and then fabulous dies so many fun things you can do you're going to see the dies in action a lot today they are I love these dies <laughs> So much fun. So that is the bundle. As I said, it retails for $60.25 here in Canada, which just qualifies you for a, a free celebration item. Okay. All right. Let's set that aside and bring in our first card. So the first one we're going to make is this one. I posted this earlier today. Um, it's sparkly and shimmery and just so happy. It's perfect for a yucky January day in the dead of winter. So I'm going to dump all my little bits out and we are going to go to town. Lots of little bits with this one. 
So first thing I want to talk about is this beautiful designer series paper. Now this is not from the Sunshine and Rainbows pack. This is actually from the Abstract Beauty pack and it is fantastic. So this is a um, four by six paper, which is perfect because you cut your four by five and a quarter inch card front and then you have a little three quarter inch bit that you can use on the inside of your card or to decorate um, a tag or coordinating envelope or whatever. So it's, it's a great size for card makers. <clears throat> and it all has, every page has gold foiling on it. Now the back side is this fun rainbow stripe. I actually used that during my celebration countdown. You may have seen it, but I just love this sort of Night of Navy wash with the gold foil spatter. So that's what we're going to use to construct our card. Now I have a ton of little rainbow bits here. So the way these dies work, let me just bring in the die that I used. This one here. Um, so you run this die through and you get four different arches for your rainbow. Okay, so it makes it really quick and easy to cut a whole bunch of rainbows just in a couple passes. So you just run it through a few times with a couple of different colors of cardstock and you've got all kinds of arches to make your rainbow. So I'm just going to sort these by color for a minute and then we're going to get busy assembling our rainbows. Okay, so you'll notice here on my card, each one kind of goes in a different order. So I did that so that I could use all of my arches and didn't have to cut a bunch more. So we're going to start with this guy. Now I did take the liberty of adding adhesive sheets to the back of these. Uh, when I made my card, I actually did not do that and uh, ended up liquid gluing them all, which is totally doable, uh, but takes a lot longer. And I figured you guys didn't want to sit here and watch me fiddle with <laughs> a bottle of Tombow for half an hour. So we're just gonna remove our backings here and go to town with our adhesive sheets. Makes it much quicker and easier. So the first one we're doing pink. So I'm using uh, polished pink and pumpkin pie. And then a little bit of Daffodil Delight. So I'm just kind of trying to make sure, and I didn't do a very good job of that one, but that's okay, we'll hide it with a cloud. I'm trying to make sure the um, bottoms of my arches are fairly level. See how that one isn't, but that's okay. We can hide it. We can hide anything. Mistakes are not mistakes. They're only opportunities for creativity. Right? Right. All right, so there's our first rainbow. Okay, next one, off, sort of going off to the right side, is going to start with pumpkin pie. So we'll get rid of that. Sometimes I feel like I need my take your pick to remove my backing. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on the day. So we're going to have this guy kind of coming off here. So we'll start with that one there. And next is daffodil. Is that the right one? Yes, it is. Yes, I had to double check. <laughs> I was second guessing myself here. So we'll peel that guy off. Oh, your set just arrived today, Julie. You're going to have some fun. This is a very timely video for you. All right, Lois, hello, welcome, Huda, hi. Hope you are having a good week and keeping warm and shoveled out. Well, Lois, I know you don't have to worry about that. That's one of the beauties of living in a condo. <laughs> Somebody else does the shoveling for you, right? Hi, Jill, how are you? Did you guys get lots of snow in, oh yes, yeah, snowy Northeast Ohio. Okay, you are in the same boat we are. We got dumped on yesterday. Uh, we got about 13 inches, which is a lot at one time. We tend to get like, we, we tend to get a lot of snow over the course of the winter, but not all at once. <laughs> it was a little crazy. We did have a snow day from school, which was a rather welcome um, little treat. Uh, we are back to in-person learning this week. So we had a, a one-day reprieve, but now we're back with everybody in the building. So we will see how that goes. Um, I told my husband, I said, I'm fully expecting to probably catch COVID in the next couple of weeks because it's kind of crazy in there. Uh, I'm doing my best, but if I disappear for a while, you'll know why. All right, so there are our rainbows. Wasn't that easy? Having the adhesive sheets makes it really quick and easy to put these together. So then I'm just gonna bring in my snips and just trim off my excess little bits that extend off the back. You got a foot. Yeah, oh, two feet, yeah. Oh my, Julie got two feet. Um, in Toronto, which is about an hour east of us, um, Jill, we got, or they got two feet. 
the city was basically paralyzed. They're actually still shut down today. The clo schools are closed for a second day because um, they have to clear it. <laughs> it takes a while. So, oh, Tracy, your students are dropping like flies. Yeah, I'm afraid that's what we're in for. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy, crazy, crazy in the education world right now. All right, so these last little arches we're going to save because I actually did use them on the inside. Um, I'll show you that later, but I want to dig out my little clouds here. Now, I want to show you my clouds. Now, these again are die cut with the set, but I'm not sure how well it's going to show. Can you see the shimmer and sparkle on these? Maybe if I hold up. Can you see that? This is the new iridescent specialty, not iridescent, mother of pearl specialty paper that is in the mini. Um, a couple of things about this paper. So let me actually grab a full sheet so you can see it a bit better. Let's see if I can pull it out. So a couple of things about this paper. It is non-porous, okay? So you can't really stamp on unless you stamp with stays on. Um, you can color and write on it with blends. And I actually did that. I stamped with stays on and then colored with blends. Um, and it gives you kind of a cool look. Um, I did that at Christmas time. But um, it's not. this is not paper that you can stamp an image on, okay? Like you normally would with our classic ink. You need to use stays on. But it is fantastic for adding accents like sparkly little clouds to our projects. And of course, who wouldn't want sparkly clouds with their rainbows, right? So we are going to add a few clouds to our little scene here. So most of these I glued flat. Some of them I popped up. So it's, there's really not a wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna add a few little clouds. This one's gonna kind of be going off the edge. And we'll add a little guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, Debbie, it is actually. My craft studio is in the basement. Actually, last year when I was having to isolate a couple of times because I had symptoms, um, there we actually bought a pull-out couch just for that purpose. So we have a, a new pull-out couch with a memory foam mattress right in front of the fireplace in the basement and my studio. So, you know, it wouldn't be a, an entire hardship um, if I did have to isolate. It's certainly not something that I'm wanting to do. Um, but I certainly would not, you know, have to give up crafting, assuming I feel like crafting. I've heard varying reports of um, people's experience, uh, experience with it. So with my luck, I will be sick as a dog and flat on my back for two weeks. That's just how I roll. That's my luck. All right. Yes, this paper is gorgeous, Tracy and Krista. It really is. Um, it's like it is a specialty paper, so you don't use it like regular cardstock. It does have. Um, you, you're definitely going to want to use it for special projects and special accents, um, but it is really cool paper, and so pretty. So I'm just adding a few little clouds to my project as I'm chit chatting away here. Hi, Laura, how are you? Hope you are keeping well and all shoveled out from yesterday's dump of snow. Let's just add these little guys. So I wanted these guys to kind of be hanging off the bottom here. And we'll add one more that we're gonna pop up and then we're good to go. So you can have so much fun playing with these rainbows. You could do them in any color. Um, just what I like to do when I'm playing with this kind of stuff is just cut a whole bunch out, like a whole bunch of different colors. So just take some scrap, your scrap pile and start die cutting and um, just put them all, you know, by color into little bins or little envelopes that you can um, play, see and sort through and then start playing. It's just so much fun to play with these things. And that's a great way to come up with color combos that you may not necessarily have come up with otherwise. So I have a couple of extra rainbows, but that's okay. Let's get rid of our mess here. And then we're gonna finish putting this together. But isn't that happy? Such a happy, happy card. All right, now our card base is Knight of Navy. I really wanted the rainbows to pop, so I, I went with a nice dark um, card base. It is four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored in the middle at five and a half. Hi, Martine, how are you? It's nice to see you live. So we're gonna crisp that up. Now, I 
added a gold foil mat behind this. I couldn't resist because I really wanted to accentuate the, the gold foil spatters on here. Now, I know for some of us that causes us great stress because we're wasting all of that real estate of gold foil. So here's a little tip. When you are wanting to add a gold foil mat behind or any kind of specialty paper mat behind um, a panel on a card, use um, a large die and cut out the center of it. And what you're gonna see, once I glue this down and add my layer, no one is ever gonna know that there was a big chunk cut out of the middle. The other thing that that does is it actually makes it lighter weight for when you are wanting to mail, okay? So that's just a little um, sort of specialty paper. You could do this with any cardstock. I tend not to with just regular cardstock, but some of my specialty papers, I like to, you know, they're more expensive and you wanna get as much mileage out of them as you can. So, that's a good little tip for conserving your cardstock and your specialty papers. Okay, so there's my frame. You'll notice I didn't, didn't get it very well centered and I was actually worried that it was not gonna work. But look at that. When I put that over top, no one knows. So let's add, I'm gonna put a bit of seal over top of this, I think. So I'll just add a bit of this. Oh, come on. And we're gonna pop this on right over our big hole in our mat. And like I said, no one will be the wiser. So then I have this a beautiful gold die cut that I can use for something else, okay? All right, <laughs> you're frugal. Frugal is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with frugal because if you're frugal with the little things, then you can buy more big things, right? All right. I just realized I don't think I gave myself a strip to cut my, or to stamp my sentiment. Let me grab an extra little scrap. There we go. Um, so this is just a half, or sorry, a half inch scrap cut from, or left over from cutting mats for the inside of my cards. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This one is from the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. I'm gonna stamp it in Night of Navy much centered on there okay I love using these little white scraps for sentiments um, they're easy I don't have to worry if I mess up because I've got a million of them and it just adds a, a cute little easy way to add a cute little banner so I'm gonna notch the ends with my tailored tag punch now this one I'm gonna leave a little bit more space so that I can add my twine so I have here a little bit of navy baker's twine so we are going to actually wrap and tie this. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on the back side. And this is just a little tip for if you're trying to um, wrap a, a piece of twine or ribbon around a piece that is really small like this, it can be really tricky to tie something that is light and sort of flops around as you're trying to tie it. So what I like to do is add a glue dot to the back First of all, it holds my twine in place, so it's not slip sliding around. But then by pressing it onto my work surface, I also am anchoring it just a little bit so that it's not sort of flying around when I'm trying to tie my bow. So we're just gonna tie a cute little bow here. Come here. I had to cut my nails off again. After being off for the holidays, I had to cut them off again to play guitar. I hadn't been playing over the holidays, so they kind of grew a bit. So they are gone. At least the ones on my left hand are. All right, now let me just tighten that up. I'm not liking that that's bulging a bit. There we go, that's better. We'll trim off our little tails here. And there we go, we have a cute little banner. Now that's gonna get put on with a couple of dimensionals. Thanks, Arlene. Thanks so much, glad you like it. It's a happy card on a snowy January <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, we got dumped on here um, yesterday. So I figured we all need a little bit of, little reminder that spring will come eventually. Now there's like this perfect natural spot for this on my card. So we're just gonna center that, not center it, it's gonna be over a little bit to the left and hopefully get it straight. There we go, our cute, happy little card. Now the last touch, I didn't use any embellishments, but I did add some Wink of Stella to each one of my arches. Now you could certainly do this before you glue these down. Um, I just figure why wink the entire thing when you can just wink the parts that you see. <laughs> it's 
So I just find it just as easy to do it after the fact. Now you're not gonna be able to see this really on the video. Um, but you have to take my word for it. Sparkly rainbows and glittery clouds. Happy times. All right. All right. Now on the inside, I added a white panel. I'm not going to take the time to do this now. I added a basic white panel. I stamped another sentiment from the Rainbow of Happiness stamp set. I added a few little hearts in the same ink colors that I used cardstock. And then I used my remaining uh, rainbow arches to add a little rainbow on the inside. So happy, happy, happy. Um, hope that one makes you smile. Let's move those off to the side because I will finish the inside of that later. Oh, there's another little cloud. Don't want to lose him. We'll clean up our mess and move on to card number two. Let's get the wink out of the way. All right, number two is this one. Now, this is one that I posted yesterday. Uh, it was inspired a little bit by the Celebration catalog. Um, if I can find it, here it is. Sometimes you get inspiration from... Well, you never really know where you're gonna get inspiration from. And um, this one was, was it this one? No, it was the mini, sorry. Must be this one. Page 18 is the page with this, yes, this one. Okay, so this one kind of inspired this card, sort of. Um, I sometimes like to look through the catalogs just to kind of get me, th oh, there's the strip. I did give myself a strip for the sentiment. See, I was better prepared than I thought I was. Um, so sometimes I like to just look and kind of get ideas and inspiration and then kind of see where that takes me. So this is um, a super easy card. I have done some of it ahead of time, specifically the heat embossing. So we're going to do some stamping here first. Let me pull in the basket of goodies here. Set this card aside for now. All right. So we are going to stamp our uh, two remaining arches. Um, I'm using Just Jade and Magenta Madness. I'm going to use Just Jade for the top. Now I've already done this one and heat embossed it in gold. Um, just did that ahead of time. So let's do our Magenta Madness one first. I'm going to bring in my Stamp and Pierce mat just because these um, stamps, being photopolymer, um, have they're very solid right they're solid color uh, or solid images and there's no give so you want to make sure when you're stamping you've got something with a little bit of give under your work surface okay and then we're going to add our just jade i didn't get that one centered as much as as well as i would have liked to but that's what happens when you're stamping not looking straight down on your project <laughs> so we're just gonna ink up our large arch here Let's see if I can do a better job of this one. Get that one a bit better centered. That's better. All right, so there are our two arches. And then I'm just gonna take and fussy cut this out. This is not a difficult one to fussy cut. Uh, very, very easy. So I'm just gonna kind of try and keep the same size border as the space between my arches, just so that it looks consistent. Um, I'm using my trusty Stampin' Up! Paper Snips which are my very favorite thing to fussy cut with. And I'm also going to attempt to keep my paper moving rather than my scissors. Now you're gonna see my arches are not perfectly even at the bottom, doesn't matter. We're gonna hide that with some sparkly clouds. So we'll just finish cutting the inside of our arch here. Now you could actually leave the inside if you wanted to. You could even stamp your sentiment inside there. But I wanted to cut out the inside. So there is our fussy cut rainbow. Super quick and easy. Hi Carrie, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. All right. The rest of our pieces are really really simple. So to start, I have a piece of what's this called? <laughs> Mint macaron. That's what it's called. Holy cow. Yeah, senior moment there, people. Um, four and a quarter by five inches and I've embossed it using the gingham embossing folder. That's a new embossing folder in the catalog. So my rainbow is going to go about there and then I have, look at these sparkly clouds. Now this is yet another specialty paper that is in the mini. Um, it is the shimmer paper. I can't remember the name of it, so I'm going to look it up. Supple shimmer. Okay. Now this paper in the catalog looks really blue. It's not, it's actually this, okay? 
Um, it's quite a bit lighter, so don't let the blue turn you off. It actually looks kind of, in the, the picture in the catalog, looks similar to something that we had offered um, a few years ago. It really isn't. This is um, quite different, and it's kind of iridescent. So when you, depending on what color you put it with, it kind of changes. So here it looks quite green because it's against a green background, but then if I pull in a blue, a blue background, it turns more blue, okay? So it's kind of one of those chameleon kinds of, of papers that'll go with just about everything. Okay, so this is going to go on here. My rainbow's gonna go on about there. We're gonna pop everything up because we can, and it just looks better that way in my humble opinion. <laughs> so we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of our rainbow and pop that on right about there. And then our clouds, now I should mention, these are die cut using the fabulous basic borders dies. Now those are in the annual catalog. Um, if you miss them, don't feel bad. Many, many people have missed these. They are absolutely fantastic, but they're easy to miss because uh, they're not part of a product suite or part of a bundle. They're just awesome dies. So check them out in the die section of the annual catalog. Um, there are all sorts of different dies in the set, and this sort of cloud, stitched cloud border is just fantastic. And look how cute that is. Love it. All right, so we're going to add our little clouds here, and hopefully, I haven't, I wasn't thinking. See, this is what happens when I talk <laughs> while I'm stamping. I put things where I shouldn't. That little piece should not be there because it's going to overlap our rainbow. There we go. That's better. So we're gonna put that guy there and just run that right across. Okay, isn't that cute? Love those clouds. Now I have some more little clouds that I've die cut using the Rainbow Happiness dies or Brilliant Rainbow dies. The dies are called Brilliant Rainbow. Um, the stamp set is called Rainbow of Happiness. Therefore, the bundle is called Rainbow of Happiness. I know, it's confusing. Wouldn't it be nice if they all had the same name? <laughs> it would make it so much easier. But apparently it would not make it easier for the people on the pick line. Um, I've asked that question many times and the answer that comes back is always um, it would lead to many more picking errors in the warehouse if we had products with the same name. So there you go. That's why. <laughs> All right. So there is our card front. Now we have this cute little strip again, same as last time. It just, again, left over from cutting my basic white inside panels. I'm going to bring in a stamp from a celebration set called Special Moments. Now this is a level two celebration item, so it's free with a $120 purchase here in Canada. And so you could get your Rainbow of Happiness bundle and the border die, or basic border dies, and yeah, and then you could get the stamp set. Okay, so I'm using this happy birthday. I'm going to stamp it in magenta madness on my little strip here. Love that pink. I'm gonna miss that one when it retires so much. It's an in color and it will be going away. All right, I'm gonna bring in my tailored tag punch again and just notch my ends, giving me a cute little banner. There we go. And then that is going to go on and I'm going to pop it up on top of my clouds. So I'm just going to cut, I'm out of dimensionals again. I know you're shocked. <laughs> I go out of, run out of dimensionals almost every week. Um, oh yes, Debbie, you absolutely need these dies. If for nothing else, then the clouds. The clouds are the best, my favorite in the, in the, in the set, but yeah, there's some fabulous dies in there. Now this little bit of ribbon is actually, let me grab the spool. So all I did, I wanted really narrow little ribbon. So all I did is I took our um, in color ribbon and I cut out the middle. So from one length, you actually get two narrow little pieces of ribbon. And oh, you use the border die in a ladybug card. That would be really cute, Penny, really cute. So now I can tie a cute little bow with just the edge of my ribbon. It's only about an eighth of an inch wide. It's super narrow but just gives me that little pop of pink um, and a bit of shimmer, because it's satin, to add to my banner. I'm gonna put that right in that corner. So let's grab a glue dot, roll it into a little glue booger here. Let's see if we 
can get that. These glue dots are massive. Cannot wait to be done this roll of glue dots. I definitely got a special one. <laughs> it is not a normal roll of glue dots for sure. And then we're just gonna take our scissors and trim our ends a little bit shorter. There we go. Isn't that cute? Such a cute little birthday card. And then we're going to adhere it to our card base. I just went with a basic white card base because I thought I wanted um, the colors in the rainbow to really pop. So this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So we'll just fold that in half along our score line. And then we're gonna pop our card front onto our card. Just like that. There we go. And then we're gonna add a bit of bling with some iridescent rhinestones. Now these are from the Valentine's Suite. I actually used that suite last week, uh, but they're so yummy, these, these rhinestones that um, I can use them with everything. And because they're iridescent, they work perfectly with the glittery iridescent clouds. So I'm just gonna add a couple of these little guys scattered in amongst our clouds. And there we go. Isn't that cute? So fun. Did I do anything on the inside of this? Oh, yes, I did. I stamped another rainbow. Look at that. Totally forgot that I did that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Number two, done and done. Let's clean up our mess and bring in number three. Now, number three is an easy, fun fold. So it looks really basic, straightforward, nothing super, super fancy, but it's actually a little easel card. So when you open it up, it stands up like that. And look, there are those cloud dies again. I told you they're fantastic. <laughs> you need to add those to your wish list. Um, so I used a little bit of the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP from Celebration and some more specialty paper. I was kind of on a specialty paper kick. Um, I feel like sometimes we forget that we have all these really cool papers in both catalogs, both the mini and the annual, and I kind of wanted to highlight them. So this one, let me grab my catalog, is, I gotta find the page with it on it. It is, where are you? It's this stuff here. So the ombre specialty paper. Okay, now I cut my um, arches mostly from the bottom, so the darkest part of each sheet to get really bold color. All right, so you're gonna see I've got some small arches and some large arches. These large ones are cut using this large die here. And we're gonna build our rainbow on a piece of Sunshine and Rainbows DSP. Okay, it's four by five and a quarter. And we're just gonna start. Now, I am gonna go in a different order because again, when you cut this, this die, you get four arches in the same color, right? So I actually have lots of leftover pieces that I can use on another project. Now this has a little bit of adhesive sheets, so we'll just add a little bit of white glue there. And we're gonna add our arch, I don't really need to worry about whether or not this is going to come all the way down because we're gonna hide it with the clouds again. Okay, so there's my purple. And look at this one, it has a little bit too. You can tell I was using scraps that were left over from other projects when I was cutting these. This, this These dyes, making rainbows, is a great way to use up your scraps. So there's that one. And then we'll take our yellow. Hi, Julie, hi, Shaz. That's okay, thanks for joining. Hope you are well. Hi, Lindy. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good week. I'm, I'm sure you guys got you guys got a ton of snow in uh, Niagara. We got a lot, but you guys got more. All right, so here's our last one. Isn't that fun? Just so bright and cheerful and glittery. All right, now here is another um, little bit of clouds that I cut using the same clouds border dies. And this time I'm going, not clouds border, basic border dies, the cloud from the basic border dies. I'm gonna use a bit of memento black ink to stamp my sentiments as a little something to brighten your day. So we're just gonna stamp that off to the right a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring in my little bitty hearts, make sure that's clean from the last time I used it. And we are going to stamp just a few little pool party hearts here because they're so cute. 
There we go. Oh, thanks, Julie. It is a happy card. I think we all need a little happy right now. <laughs> there certainly is no happy in the news. That's for sure. All right. Now I just realized that that's a little on the long side. So I'm going to have to trim these off a bit so that we don't see them peeking out from behind our clouds. So we'll just trim these off just a touch. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, so we're going to add some dimensionals and pop this up. So we'll put a little bit here. This is me using up the last of my dimensional sheet again. <laughs> it's like every week I'm using just the edges. You guys must think that I never actually <laughs> have dimensionals. Uh, it's just because I love them so much. I go through them rather quickly. <laughs> All right, so let's pop this guy on right near the bottom. I want to make sure that um, my edges are flush. Okay, there's my cute little rainbow. Now that is going to get matted on a piece of basic white cardstock. It's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So I'm going to have just a narrow little border. And I'm doing this because, again, this is going to be an easel card, right? And I want to make sure that it has sort of some strength uh, when it's popped up. So we're just going to add that extra layer just to give it that extra little bit of support when it's standing up. So we'll pop this on. Oh, I lost a sequin. There's a sequin laying here. It came off. Let's pop that back on there. That should be on there. There we go. All right. Get this nice and straight and centered, hopefully. Ooh, that was too far. There we go. All right, so there is my card front. Now, when you're making an easel card, it's really only one extra score. This is a really easy fun fold. So if you are newer to stamping, you've never tried a fun fold card before, um, this is a really good one to start with. So this is four and a quarter by 11 inches. So your standard half sheet of cardstock. It's scored in the middle at five and a half. And then to make my easel, I've added one extra score line. So if I turn my paper this way, if you imagine I've got my trimmer here, my scorer, and I'm gonna score at two and three quarters and five and a half. So this one, this score line is in the middle of this, this panel here, okay? Really simple, um, just one extra score to make a cute little easel card. All right, so I'm folding in half, and then this score line that's in the middle, I'm gonna make a mountain, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in, because it's gonna stand up like that. Make sense? All right, now this is the most important step, okay? Normally I would put adhesive all over here and stick it down on my card front, but when we're making an easel card, we do not want any adhesive on this top part. I'm gonna turn it this way, this top part. We're only gonna put adhesive on the bottom. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to start my seal just below the score line and I'm just going to kind of run it across. I'm using quite a bit. Oh, and look at that. I'm out of seal now too. What else can I run out of today? All right, <laughs> let's um, pop this on. So I've got my adhesive just on the bottom. I'm going to center my card front and just press it into place. Okay, and that way when I stand up my easel, I haven't glued my card shut, okay? All right, so for the inside, the other important part when we're making an easel is that we need something on the inside to catch um, the bottom of our card front so that it'll stand up. So I just took a piece of basic white cardstock that started out as a four by five and a quarter inch panel, and then I took my border die and just cut off part at the top. So that when I put this in here, I'm gonna pop it up with some dimensionals and that's gonna hold my easel. Okay, so we're gonna stamp a little bit of a sentiment on the inside. So I'm gonna bring in my, you make the world a better place. Who doesn't need to hear that? I think we all do. So we're gonna ink that up with some black ink. Let's just make sure that's fully inked. And stamp that. And then I'm gonna bring back my little hearts and my pool party, card, or pool party ink rather and add just a few little hearts around my sentiment. So, so cute. And then I wanted an extra little pop of color on the inside of my card, so I cut some extra arches in with the narrower die. 
So again, we're just using these bits and I don't think I put adhesive sheets on the back. I do apologize. You're gonna have to sit and watch me glue these. These are totally gluable with liquid glue. Um, they're, it's, not, it's not hard. Um, it's just a little bit tedious to watch and I do apologize for not having the adhesive sheets on there. So let's just glue these down lickety quick. Lickety quick, lickety split. <laughs> I'm making up sayings now. What can I say, people? After two years of COVID teaching, sometimes I wonder that I'm even sane anymore. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nicole. I love glitter. I love glitter anything, but glitter rainbows make me extra happy. And as I was saying, we all need a little happy these days. So there is our little rainbow for the inside. And then again, I'm just gonna flip my piece over and trim off the excess. There we go. And then same thing on this side. Take my snips. You could certainly use your trimmer for this. I just find it easier to do with my snips. Get rid of those. That one's sticky. There we go. And then this is going to get popped up. Now, do I have enough dimensionals? I think I do. We're gonna use these corner bits down here just like that one and uh, let's cut this down a little bit I'll put this guy here I'll put this guy up here and let's just grab a couple of minis to finish off so we'll do a couple of these sometimes when I run out of large ones I'll do a couple of minis side by side just in a pinch I do have more I just don't want to take the time to get them so we're gonna get rid of our backings here and pop this on. Oh, thanks, Chris. That's not the card. <laughs> That's my sample. Here's our card. All right, so we're gonna just make sure we have an equal border at the bottom and two sides. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that's straight. And then when I stand it up, there we go. We got a cute little easel. Now I wanted to add a little extra bling to the front. I know we've already got glitter paper on there, but these iridescent rinds or iridescent sweet sequins from the uh, Expressions and in Ink Ephemera pack are just fabulous. And as I said, they go, iridescent goes with everything. <laughs> so why not use them, right? Um, I am one who believes if you're gonna buy um, embellishments, then you really should use them because there's no point in collecting them and just staring at them. I know they look pretty, but if you're gonna buy them, use them. <laughs> That's my philosophy. If you're not gonna use them, then don't buy them. Spend your money on other things. I know they're pretty, but if you're not gonna use them, you gotta, you gotta use them. All right, so there is our finished card. Super cute. Now I'll just quick show you this cute little treat box that I made. I wanted to kind of have a little gift set here. I'm, I'm gonna give this to one of my teaching colleagues at school. Um, I'm gonna put some chocolate in there, but just a cute little um, gift box, again, wrapped with some of the Sunshine and Rainbows DSP. And then again, I used some of my leftover arches to make my, to decorate my box. Isn't that cute? Lots of fun. All right, let me bring back all of my projects for today. So we've got one, two, and three. Got a big mess here, which I will clean up once I'm off camera, but there we go. Hope you guys like those. I hope they brightened your dreary January a little bit. Um, thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed these projects, and I will see you next week for another episode of Tuesday Live at 5. Bye for now.